So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and set up the view. We've got the model done, now we need to do the view. So I'm going to save my information by hitting Command S and we should then be ready to edit the nib file. So I double clicked on the my buttons view controller dot nib and that opened up my nib file. Now inside my nib file I need to go through and add a couple things. I need a label and I need two buttons. So I'm going to go to tools, go to my library, and inside the library I'll find a label and I'll drag my label in here, put it at the bottom, and I'm going to make it fairly large there. And then I need two buttons, so I'll drag a button in there, and a second button right there. I need to give these buttons some labels, some titles. So I'm going to close my library and go up here to my tools and open up the inspector. Inside the inspector I'm able to change the attributes of my button. So I clicked on my, the button that's to the left and I'm going to give it the title left and then I'm going to go over here to the right one and give it the title of right. And as you can see, it did go through and go ahead and change the text, put it all right there for me. Label, I'm just simply going to get rid of the text out of label so it's nice and clean. There we go. And it, while you don't see it anymore, it is still there, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, next step is that we need to create a link between the file owner and the label. So opening up, close my attributes there, opening my my buttons view controller nib file. Now going up to the file owner, I'm going to hold down on the control key, click and drag down to where the label should be. When you get over the label, you'll release and you'll show your various outlets and I'll select my text. If my text is not showing for some reason you need to go back to your Xcode and look at your H file and your M file and make sure you don't have any extra spaces or something is not as it should be. Usually it's in your header file that's going to create your problem if something's not showing correctly. Okay, so I've created the connection between the fi file owner and the label. So that is ready to go. The next thing that I need to do is create the connection between the left button and the rest of the system. So I'm going to select the left button, go to Tools, Connection Inspector, and as you can see it lists all these different commands that are available for the left button. I want to do a, I'm going to do a touch up inside and I'll drag from touch up in, inside to file owner and select button pressed. What that, what I just did is I said if the le somebody clicks inside the left button, call the routine button pressed. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the right button. Clicked on the right button so it's selected. As again, you've got the same button connections. Go to touch up inside, click and drag to file owner and select button pressed. Now there's a connection there between the right button and calling the routine button pressed. So now we're ready to save and test our little application. So I'll do a save, come up back to my X code and click build and run. Here's my iPhone simulator. There we go. We've got our left button and our right button. So left, you see left button is pressed, right, right button is pressed. Now again, this isn't a real fancy application, but as you can see, we've created a very simple application that when we click on a button, something happens. We're changing the content of the label, and from this we can do all kinds of other neat and nifty things. Good job.